Oh, dude. Look at that footage. Good job, Jack. Thank you. I cannot wait to post that to Instagram. Oh, those yeah, sweet. those are sweet. It is a lot colder than it looks. Every day before practice, I try to take an hour where I just relax and do nothing. And right now I'm rewatching Game of Thrones and almost every day, if Allie is home, she is a huge distraction. Get off me. Mm -mm. You're distracting me. I'm the best distraction. Get out of here, I'm trying to watch Game of Thrones. Love me. <laughs> I love my wife, but she, she's silly. I've got this list of things that my movement specialist has given me to do to make sure all the muscles along my legs are firing properly, and that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah. I do do a lot of stability training. I got this thing. I don't even really know what it is, but I stand on it and balance on it, and it activates all the little muscles that run up my legs, particularly my ankle and my knee. Tell me on a scale of one to 10 how stupid I look. Everyone always laughs at me when I'm doing this, but it's a lot harder than it looks. A lot harder. So this afternoon we have a really fun, really exciting, well I hope really exciting, but definitely really fun practice. And then afterwards I'm gonna do uh, my horrible iteration of a tutorial video of how to do underwater bubble rings. I'm pretty good at them. Keep going. Uh, hold up, hold up. Do it. Yes. Keep going, keep going, keep going. It only has one thumb hole. The fist glove. Ray, people send Ray things like all the time, like weird new swimming equipment, and he was sent these. It's literally a balloon with a thumb hole. And we swam warm up with them yesterday. I, it's just, I don't understand why anyone would make this. Look at my thumb right now, look at how silly I look. Fist drill is a common drill we do, but like this, like why why would I why would they give you a thumb? I don't under I don't understand. This is an actual product that people actually make. Oh seriously, we get the weirdest stuff sent to us that we try out. That was that was 100% the strangest weirdest product anyone has ever sent us. Just I don't I I why? Why why? Can you read it? Alright, it's gonna pop this one. No idea how to do bubble rings. You don't know how to do bubble rings? Yeah. We're gonna teach you how to do bubble to learn, rings. I need to learn. I think it's like a professional swimmer uh, skill. So if you're a swimmer, you need to know how to blow bubble rings. Yeah. I'm gonna vlog a little bit of this practice, and then we're gonna then we're gonna do a tutorial. I'm gonna do a really I'm gonna do a really terrible job of, of throwing together a tutorial of how to do bubble rings. We're gonna teach Margo. See if I succeed or not. Yes. Go 300 every 425. Reese drill. Did you get that? Hardest part of the day, jumping in right here. Actually, second second hardest. The first hardest is when it's early in the morning, but you know, if you smile through it, it just gets better. Okay, just have a two hour practice and then it's bubble ring o'clock. It's gonna be good. This is how you know you're in the sprint group and not in the distance or the middle distance group. Half the team, or the group I should say, is still standing, 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 standing. No one's even in the water yet. Get in the water, let's go. We've got laps to spring. Assalamu alaikum, Shab Mas. I'm just going to tell you about my mom and my dad. I'm going to tell you about 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 my dad. I don't know what that was. I guess I'll find out when I start editing this video. I'm dying. Good job. Oh, not bad. No. It hurt a lot for the short period of time. Cody doesn't know the struggle, but I'm 6'4", so when we do these kicking things, I will pretty much always rip my toes up on the lane line. Tall people problems. I wish I could complain about how tall I was, Jack. <laughs> We're finishing practice with some turn work. You get held in place. Margo's holding Jack. She lets him go. Sprint. Don't hit your face. Boom, and he's back. Oh! The speed! 
All right, Margo, let's see the speed. She's so fast. She was beating a lot of the guys, including me. When the myth, the legend. Oh. Unlimited power. Taking out another lane line to do better turns. Oh god, I to hurt myself. I feel like four out of five times I hurt myself when I'm doing this. Didn't hurt myself. <laughs> It's about bubble ring o'clock. It's bubble ring o'clock. Hey, you want to do bubble rings? Do you want to do some bubble rings? Come on, man. Let's oh, go. Good. Yeah, you can. You can do it. So this is my super simple, kind of stupid, hopefully helpful tutorial on how to blow bubble rings. First, you fill your mouth up with air, like your cheeks. So you should feel like a chipmunk, right? Like, and the secret, like, I think it's better if you stick out your tongue. So I do it like this. So I plug my nose, fill my mouth up with air, stick out my tongue and then blow the air out forward and finish with like a pucker so it's like do I look stupid yeah if you look stupid you're probably doing it right I, I think the secret is if you stick your tongue out and force the air out you kind of suck your tongue back in and the, the tongue creates a little hole like a donut hole for the air to kind of pocket out just like a perfect circle so that's like my secret tip I definitely think that the the release of the air like how you how your lips come together towards the end makes it makes an impact so yeah. like how you that like is a factor that's a bit that's a factor can you blow bubble rings Try. You can try? Alright, well, we're gonna go underwater. Also, you gotta equalize when you go down deep, otherwise your ears are gonna pop. So you gotta... Okay. Someone calling my name? Margo! Come blow bubbles with us! I thought you were gonna blow bubbles. No, 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 you gotta straight our boy's tip. Okay, okay, so. I got better at it like more consistently when I started sticking my tongue out. It kind of creates a little donut hole for the air to pocket out into a ring. And then you kind of force it out, but not too forcefully. And as you're letting the air out, I suck my tongue back in. And you kind of make a little kissy face. So you should kind of end like, like, so your tongue is out when you're so, so when my you're tongue is out until sorry. I'm done exhaling right so it's like <coughs> do we look do we look silly just <laughs> if you're if you're uneven your bubble's gonna be wonky but if you're parallel with the way that it rises yeah. then it's gonna be more it's gonna be more flat and so it's gonna come up it definitely takes like a lot of practice if you just work on it for like you know like one minute every day like you could get it remember to equalize <laughs> I do kind of bring my lips together like Hopefully that helps And that ends, that ends our tutorial on how to do bubble rings. I don't know if, I don't know if that was helpful, but Lily got a, uh, a banner right there. So Lily's up on the wall, see? And Blake did too, Blake's right there. That is a terrible zoom, but Blake and Lily are up there now. Look, they're famous. Whoo, here we go, here we go. Ah, it's not, it's not miserable. Headed home now. Another great practice in the books. Had some fun today. Ah, my beautiful car. Oh.
<sighs> I'm all about having fun, and that's why I try to make my vlogs fun and engaging and silly and stupid, and that's why blowing bubbles to me are important. If you're a swimmer out there, you should be able to do bubble rings, you should learn how to do them because they're fun and they're exciting, and it's really rewarding when you get like a perfect ring that goes all the way up to the surface of the water without breaking, or even better, when you blow two rings together and they kind of connect and make this weird figure eight thing. Ah, it's just like, just silly dumb stuff makes me happy. Time to release the fur balls. Do you miss me? Lego! Lego! Lego, did you have a good day? Did you have a good day, little buddy? The lighting in here is so funky. Like, I don't, it's just weird. And that's pretty much gonna be a wrap on today's vlog. I'm gonna eat dinner now and then start editing this video for you guys to watch tomorrow. If you guys start practicing your underwater bubble rings and you have a camera that you can film underwater, film it, put it online, tag me in it, let me see it, let me see your, your bubble ring pr progression. As always, make sure you guys are following me on social media, at Swim Miller on Twitter and at Cody Miller on Instagram. Vlogs every Wednesday, podcasts every once in a while. Subscribe to my podcast on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, whatever. Um, subscribe to this YouTube channel, click that little bell bell so you get notified every time I drop a new video and until my next video I will see you guys later.